Um, I think when we, we lived in a masonette first off with, and I think we started with hanging baskets and window boxes. And it's just thinking, you know, small tubs and things like that, you can create so much in a little bit of space. We started off that my wife was into the plants and the planting, and I was into the heavy work, like digging out the borders and stuff and, yeah. and sorting it out. But um, but now it's a, it's a joint thing, and we both get involved in um, the design of it and what, what we're doing, you know. I just done it. When I first started the garden, I done it because I had an accident at work, and I couldn't go back to work. I couldn't get around much. And after a few months, of, uh, like I lived on the floor for eight, eight months in the sitting room. And I started getting around a bit, but it was doing my head in, stuck in doors. So I started potting around and I thought, I'll buy a couple of plants. I put them in, watched them grow and I thought, oh, and that got us going. And now I love the garden and getting out there. And... I love the box hedging that I do, because you can cut that into shapes and styles and... And it just smells lovely. <laughs> Have you done any animal shapes? <laughs> I haven't, no. <laughs> no, not yet. I'm working on that. We have a love heart in the back garden. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think that's the next thing to do. I'm thinking of the air show this year. Art, basically. Yeah, that's what's always drawn people to ours, and especially the people who come around and judge most of them. They'll, they, they're always stunned at what we've put in and what we've managed to do in such a small space. Square edges are a bit old hat, you know, and uh, it's pretty more pleasing to the eye to have circles, you know. I mean, my patio has a bag sort of leads one to another to another uh, by just various semicircles or circles. I'd go down there and help with him. I think, and he was literally, he was spot on. Everything had to be straight lines, and that's, that's why I like the garden, the lawn. Everything's got to be straight lines and stuff. So I think that was my, yeah, I learned it all from my father, I think. We don't have a, th a theme, though, as such. No. I'd, like we don't have a theme of just geraniums or just busy lizards or no. And I would say it's pretty much yeah, similar. Yeah, it's a mixture of colours. Some people just have red, whites and blues, don't they? We, we sort of have all different colours. I quite like that, but we've never really achieved the red, white. Or you know what I mean, a theme of colours. Because if you've only got a small garden and you want to put, I like to put in everything I can possibly think of in. And so it's a mixture. The World Cup's coming up, so we thought we might go for um, possibly, possibly for a, possibly red and white. But, um, we don't know yet, really. Mm. Um, we try and do something different every year, you know. I mean, uh, a couple of years ago, we we done that bit around the tree, you know, and made that um, what's that? So we put all the geraniums and that in that last year, and we thought, well, it'll look a bit like Austria, you know, with all the geraniums and stuff. <laughs> Well, we both do it together, really. We, we look through, I mean, we've been looking, looking through catalogues and stuff already. And we think of, with, well, we, we think of a theme, not, not a, a colour scheme. And it just evolves, just yeah. happens. We just go out there, oh, it's normally on a Sunday morning, we'll walk around the garden with a cup of coffee and we'll just chat as we're walking around, we'll come up with ideas. And yeah, we call we it just... walking around the estate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> although it's only tiny. <laughs> we, we get a cup of coffee, so let's go walking around the estate. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> And we choose when we look around, yeah, don't we? Just, oh, we'll change that, or we'll oh, there's a gap there, there or, we'll, or we'll, we'll split that in half, we'll put that over there, and we'll change this and put it over there. So it's just normally just off the top of so, our yeah, heads. Yeah, so it just, just happens. Mm -hmm. I like the dahlias. I'm always planning for dahlias, and same way more spaces, and different colours, the variety, different colours, and that, that's what I like doing, the dahlias. In, like, uh, last year, um, we got um, done a television in an armchair and the television I got from my next door neighbour, I said, oh, you haven't got an old television, have you? Because he, yeah, he said, I have, and he brought it round, this television, and there's me cutting, cutting out the top of the television and then <laughs> I had a bang and some stuff going up in the air, like, okay, get away from that. He had like, all the stuff that was in it, all the wiring and stuff, and... Um, yeah, it made quite a good display. <laughs> over the last uh, two or three years, we've had gold. Makes us very proud. So we get all the certificates on the board and put them out there in the summer on the lawn. So when we're sat out there, they're on the board and people, you know, can have a look at them and see, you know. Yeah, and everybody that comes round. We, we've had people around. It doesn't even live on the estate. They come round and, and take photographs of it, you know. Yeah. One, one year, we had a, an old bloke 
He stopped in his car. And he he said, that's, that's he beautiful. Said, and, he yeah, said, and he gave us a couple of quid. And, and we said, no, we don't want that. And he says, yeah, he says, yeah. I like to see it. He says, you get some more plants. Some more plants. <laughs> it's the older people that walk past. There's one particular old lady that walks past every Sunday morning that we chat with. Never seen her before. Don't even know her name. She always stops and has a chat and how lovely the garden is and all this and stuff. So it's brilliant. And people that walk past in the evenings and stuff with the dogs and stuff, it's really, it's really good. In fact, they've done the baskets, all the baskets, next door neighbours' baskets as well. Really? And down the road, yeah. And round the corner. If you won the lottery, what would you buy for your garden? Oh, and if it was a couple of million, I suppose, although we're getting on a bit in age, I would have liked chickens. Well, de definitely chickens. I'm, well, I would have liked a small holding of sorts. Well, probably more box hedge in, have lots of designs and um, some artwork, I think, as well. Have a water feature or, or something different. I would like a nice water feature or something in the front, if I had the money. Nice water feature with some lights. I'd have to have one of them lawnmowers where you sit on, like Forest Gump. <laughs> I'd have a massive garden. A nice shed so I could just put around all day and not worry about the thing. Probably, uh, I don't know if you've seen these deer, that um, bronze deer. <laughs> I'd, I'd have it looking out of a salia bushes or something and make it look at natural. It's nice in the summer and you've got all the flowers and everything and you can see all the effort you've put in. You see, well, it was worth it. And especially when people say, oh, yeah, garden looks nice and that. You think, so, well, at least it is looking nice. And, it's very relaxing, you know, and, uh, and and now it's got to the stage it has. We like to sit out there in the summer. You know, we've got the old recliners, we sit out in the garden, and, and all the neighbours come by and chat, like, you know, and all, you know. so it's, it is yeah. very nice, and all the neighbours love it. After a stressful day at work, it's brilliant, because they don't answer back for a start. <laughs> I like sitting in the conservatory, watch, looking out at the garden and the treehouse and everything. It's, you know, to me, it's... A, it's probably a bit more old hat, but when other people come round, they uh, tend to enjoy it. You know? I just am um, passionate about plants. Um, just growing something from a seed to come out. Um, the flowers so delicate and the colours being so vibrant. It's just nature is just fantastic.